हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल आईटी इंडिया दिस इज गोइंग टू बी पार्ट टू ऑफ ए डब्ल्यू एस ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू क्रिएट ए एम आई इन ए डब्ल्यू एस एंड आई विल ऑल्सो शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट इंस्टेंस फ्रॉम द ए एम आई विच इज ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड एंड आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू ऑल दिस लेट एस स्विच टू ए डब्ल्यू एस कॉन्सोल सो बेसिकली फॉर क्रिएटिंग एनी ए एम आई ऑब्वियसली वी शुड हैव सम इंस्टेंस and i have already created one instance here you can see here it is also running and two by two status check are also passed i will also explain what are these status checks in the later videos so now after selecting this instance from this check box you have to go to actions and here you have to select image and template and from here you have to click on create image so here you can type any name AMI test. In description, you can put anything. I am just pasting the same thing. Here you can see no reboot option, and by default it is not enabled. So let me explain you the scenario when this is not enabled. So in that case, Amazon EC2 creates the new AMI. It reboots the instance so that it can take the snapshot of the attached volume. Will data is at rest. in order to ensure a consistent state and if it is selected then amazon ec2 creates new ami it does not shut down and reboot the instance and also let me tell you if you choose to enable no reboot then aws cannot guarantee file system integrity of the created ami so we are going to create the image by disabling this no reboot option and here you can see the option to add tags this is just for your understanding it is not mandatory you can remove this as well and if you have multiple storages all will be listed here and you can also uh, check or uncheck this delete on termination this is basically what if you terminate your ec2 instance then your root volume or your secondary volume will also be deleted if this delete on termination is enabled but in case that is not enabled then even if your instance is terminated by you even then your ebs volume will be there and your data will be 100% safe but this is generally used because ebs volume will also incur cost and to avoid such cost this option delete on termination is generally preferred so now uh, we have to just click on create image and image is being created and we can also go to amis and we can also click here to check the status so status is is still pending because it will take some time to create it completely and to make it available for us okay so now you can see that status is available so now this ami is ready for you you can use it for creating any instance so for creating any instance option is simple you have to go to ami Uh, like this amis you can click here and then launch instance from ami i'm just going to click on it and rest everything you can select from here like uh, name like uh, ami instance you can type like this and after that ami is already selected that is not required here you can change the instance type and here you can select the key pair whatever you want and after that you can select the security group config whatever you want you can select only thing is that you already have the ami because you are creating it from ami itself and then you can just launch the instance selecting key pair is mandatory however you can also proceed without any key pair however it is not recommended because you can face lot of issues while trying to connect to this instance so here you can see that we have both the instances now like the instances from which we have created the ami and the instance which we have created from the ami itself so friends this was all in this video i hope this video will be helpful for you so have a great learning and please do subscribe the channel it in